Hello, hello. Today is a beautiful and sunny day here in Boracay. And my plan is to go for a little walk at our local beach and do a little bit of like a walk and talk. Um, I have my umbrella here because <laughs> I'm hiding from the sun. It's like 10, 11 in the morning. So the sun is pretty strong right now, um, even though I do have sunscreen on. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I figured it would be good practice for me to kind of to do a little walk and talk and get more comfortable in front of the camera. Uh, I'm pretty introverted, so usually it's Michael that's talking, but this time it's gonna be me. beautiful and hot day uh, like I said I am here at the beach I'm just gonna find some shade so I could properly talk and not worry about it but yeah look at it and it's super quiet of course there's tons of boats here but nothing too crazy and the best thing about it is that there's a nice breeze so even though it is super sunny out here there is a great breeze so you can get cooled off especially if you hide out in the shade. Whoa, look at the sand. So yeah, so I've been like hanging out. I'm pretty introverted if you can't already tell. And so I've been like staying inside a bunch, but I feel like I need to be taking advantage more of the fact that we are here living like two minutes away from the beach. And yeah. It's really, really nice. Um, again, if you are kind of new to our vlog, we live near Tambisand Beach. Um, it's a more quiet beach, kind of away from all the tourist destination areas. Uh, and therefore, it's much more quiet. There's mainly just locals that hang out here. A lot of fishing boats and other kind of boats. There is a couple islands over there. There's one that's like Magic Island or Tourist Island. I don't really know, but a lot of tourists go, go there to go like swimming. So recently we, we love reading our comments. Um, and so we've had a couple people comment about things going on in Boracay and you know, events. Uh, one of them we missed. We had, there were literal uh, Miss Universe candidates here on the island and they were like partying and kind of doing like a catwalk event and we didn't know we found out like mid event that they were here and I'm so jealous because if I had known if I had known I would have been there I would have been taking pictures and I would have been like mom mom you won't believe it I would have been taking photos for my mom <laughs> um either way we also had comments about La La Boracay LA Boracay It was kind of like a music festival or like a weekend where people just partied non-stop on the beach it was like a giant beach party which sounds sounds cool but from what I've also been reading online is that it was kind of very detri detrimental it was very detrimental to the actual like beach and especially the locals uh, apparently it was like a sardine can like it's already pretty busy at White Beach but imagine just like a ton more people coming to party for one weekend it kind of like triples uh, so this party kind of took place before Boracay closed down originally and if you don't know what I'm talking about in 2018 they closed the beach down to clean it up you can watch my video kind of going through some of the regulations and why they did so that's gonna I'm gonna link it somewhere but since they've opened we also went through the pandemic so that's why they've also been closed for a while 
um, and because of like the 2018 shutdown I don't think La, Bur La Boracay is coming back um, especially because some of the regulations like no fire dancing on the beach that was happening during the party you can't drink on the beach anymore which was kind of the main point of the like party um, and so like I definitely honestly as much as I like going out and like partying I do understand and definitely respect why they put in place the new regulations and why they would shut down that party uh, because it leaves a ton of trash on the beach and it kind of destroys like white beach is a gorgeous beach now imagine it full of trash and just glass bottles anything um, and so I understand why that was kind of shut down um, there were rumors that it was going to happen like May 1st 2022 and when I look online I do see a couple posts but a lot of the posts that I do see are from like tourist agencies trying to promote it even though there was an article which we'll link that explains that there aren't any plans to restart La Boracay. Um, and I totally understand that. Imagine if you aren't from the Philippines, imagine you live in a small town and for one weekend you turn like your town hall into a giant music festival rave type atmosphere uh, without asking by the way. So that's kind of the struggle that was going on with the party uh, and so I, th I totally understand why they would cancel it. Uh, maybe one day they can do it in a more regulated way so there can be a bit of partying and we can get tourism here but unlikely because this is a small island and with the regulations already in place uh, I believe they're more invested in protecting the island versus hosting a party. Uh, I've even seen a couple of like vlogs or not vlogs but blogs uh, talking about like the, like the locals hatred for this party um, and I totally understand there's like memes about it as well uh, so I totally get it and I hope for the best like there's always a good median or like a medium um, so we'll see what the opening of Borkai has in store also so I am on the beach um, I don't think we've shown this but they have like the warning flags there's never anybody really in this lifeguard booth, but yeah. I'm trying to stay out in the sun, but gosh darn, look how pretty that is. of destination um, it's, it's a beautiful beach <laughs> if you do find yourself on the island I definitely recommend coming to check it out check out this beach as well as the puka shell beach it's on the very opposite end but it's like it's like a 20 minute drive when I, like we're on the one end near the port um, of Boracay but then like downtown is like a five minute drive and then maybe a 20 minute drive to puka shell beach the breeze is magnificent so yeah that's kind of all that's been going on updates for me personally I have been practicing my Filipino uh, Tagalog is the main one that I am learning because my mom uh, she's from Tondo Manila and so I want to speak Tagalog with her once she finally comes over uh, just so I can be like, hey mom, like, look at me. <laughs> um, but I'm also learning Aklian. Ow. Every time it messes me up, but it's like Aklianon, 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 I believe. Um, just so, because that is the more local language here or the more local dialect here. And so I want to know a little bit about that uh, just so I can kind of fit in and understand local culture better. But yeah, so that's gonna be my little update, my little chat. Um, if you have any comments 
feel free to let us know if okay we love reading comments so if you have any ideas about like events going on locally or just stuff that's happening in the Philippines feel free to let us know because we can't always know everything that's going on um, and while we are like sorry my hair might be a little wonky because I'm walking back now but feel free to let us know leave a comment about what's going on in the Philippines I know the election is coming up so that's gonna be a little bit crazy I did see that there are lots of like uh, like those meetups you know like like those government like party type things I don't even know what they're called um, but like there was over hundred fifty thousand at the one ladies and so yeah uh, for now I will see you later and have a good one okay so I am back home and yeah good way to cool even though I was a very short walk the best way to cool down after a heated short walk is beer so cheers and I will see you later mm -hmm.